Welcome to my week two battle of the PDL. My team, the Chicago Grookies, is taking on that one guy, coach of the Michigan Manectrix. Um, his team, as you can see on screen, is Iron Valiant, Garchomp, Heatran, Iron Jugulus, Pincurchin, uh, Decidueye, Alolan, Raichu, Scizor, Gastrodon, Quillfish. Uh, very clear electric uh, terrain core there in the Valiant, Jugulus, uh, Pincurchin, and Alolan Raichu. Uh, Alolan Raichu gets that double speed, um, which is guaranteed, and then the other two get Quark Drive boosts. Now, first thing was uh, Landorus looked pretty decent for its speed tier. It outspeeds the Quillfish and Belower, which the Heatran, Scizor, Pincurchin. Uh, and all the faster stuff is just going to be faster no matter what, you know, whether it's the Surge Surfer or a Quark Drive. So I just resulted with Life Orb to hit as hard as possible. We are physical um, with Rock Slide and Crunch. That's to hit the Iron Jugulus, the Decidueye, the Raichu, um, mainly those three. Earth Power is there for the um, Heatran, the Pincurchin, Sludge Bomb for the Iron Valiant. So, I, I needed the the physical attack to hit Decidueye and stuff harder as to our Earth Power and Sludge Bomb already KO'd Heatran and Valiant, respectively. So, f the physical attack was just more worth it in Landorus, and it still gets the Life Orb Sheer Force boost from, from all of those moves. Next, we have King Gambit. This is just going to be my late game sweeper. Uh, running a very similar set, Terra Flying, but no Terra Blast. This time we have Low Kick, which is there for the Heatran, since Heatran weighs a lot. Uh, it will KO it with the Low Kick. Uh, Supreme Overlord plus the Life Orb give a ton of extra damage. We're going to want to send this thing out late, but if we have to send it out early, it's also not the end of the world. It does just does a ton of damage with the Life Orb. We have Choice Scarf Inteleon. Uh, I needed something that outsped most of his team. The only thing that this won't outspeed is the uh, Alolan Raichu under Surge Surfer. There was just really no situations where I could outspeed that, so I'm not even worried about it. Well, I am worried about it, but, like, I can't do anything about it, per se. Um, but Snipe Shot, Ice Beam, Air Slash, U-Turn. This hits his entire team. I had Shadow Ball originally, but Snipeshot hits the Raichu good enough, and Air Slash uh, helps with the Valiant. Uh, we're going for another setup, Tauros. I had a very similar set last week, but we ran, I think, Citrus Berry. Um, this is to get in on mainly the Decidueye, if I can, maybe the Scizor or the Quillfish even. Uh, intimidate them, and then just start setting up bulk ups, and then boost the speed with Trailblaze. And I don't need anything else besides Close Combat and Raging Bull. The only thing I really need to get this thing going is to weaken the Gastrodon a little bit. Um, that's the one thing that can take hits from this thing decently well. Uh, we have Dragalgi here. This is to take uh, just general special hits from Iron Jugulus and Pincurchin and stuff. Uh, Toxic Spikes look really good because his only grounded poison type is the... Um, Quillfish, and then he does have Defoggers as well, but I just thought maybe Dragalgi could put some pressure on with a Toxic Spike. And last, we have uh, Cleavor running the Protective Pads. This is to A, not trigger um, Flame Body from Heatran, and to not get Rough Skin from the Garchomp. Uh, Stone Axe, U-Turn, Close Combat, all to just hit. Uh, Stone Axe sets the Stealth Rocks. Close Combat's there for Heatran, U-Turn to switch out, and then Defog just in case um, spikes or something get set up on our side of the field, because Gastron does get access to spikes this generation, and I don't want spikes on my side of the field. So that is the team. Hope you guys enjoy the battle. All right, here we are with our week two battle of the PDL. First thing I notice is no Quillfish, so Toxic Spikes look really good. His only form of hazard removal is the Decidueye. He does bring the Raichu, which is the one that was the most concerning to me, but it's all right. We'll figure out a way to uh, to deal with it. I don't know how, but we'll figure it out. Uh, I can see a Pincurchin lead. Seems pretty obvious. Uh, I think it does get Hydro Pump and Scald and stuff, which I don't know how much that would do to Landorus. Let me, let me check. It, well, it doesn't get Scald. Scald's not in the game. But Hydro Pump would do a lot. And if it's, it's probably Terrain Extender, but if it's Shookaberry, I don't kill it with Earth Power. 
Uh, and he also might just have Air Balloon on something, like the Heatran, maybe, to prevent an Earth Power. Uh, I could lead Inteleon and just U-turn out. I could also leave Cleavor, which I think I'm going to do that and just Stone Axe to get my Stealth Rocks up. And then we'll be able to find out if he has hazard removal early if he wants to at least try to get rid of these. So he has spikes, so we're going to defog. And this also will get rid of the terrain, which is going to force him to switch. So I'm just going to go straight for this, considering it'll get rid of the spike and terrain. This is perfect. Um, I can U-turn out here pretty freely, just since... Uh, I won't take any damage from um, rough skin and stuff. I'm gonna go Inteleon here. Ice Beam is relatively free. Heatran can come in, but I don't see why it would really want to. I could U-turn here, but this hits this hits its team really hard. Well, besides the Heatran, everything else it hits pretty decently. Alright, Gastrodon comes out. We'll find out if this is Spadef. I don't think that's Spadef. No, that's that's probably a physically defensive um, Gastrodon. Yeah, okay. Physical. Cool. I'm just going to let another Ice Beam rip. I don't have the best switch-ins like, to this either. Predicts a Lando. Oh, gets a freeze. Oh, man. That's rough. That's rough. I guess I gotta just go to Thaw Out. There's no reason to... We'll see what he does here. I'm gonna just continue to try to Thaw Out. That sucks. Alright, we're gonna hard switch out here. We're gonna go Landorus. Cause even with Ashoka, this should kill now. So I'm gonna go for it. Uh, Decidueye comes out. A crunch, I think. Doesn't. What? Why does it say that this thing has fluffy? I'm glad I looked at the calc. I was really confused. Decidueye doesn't get fluffy. So Crunch kills this. Perfect. So now if I get up a Toxic Spike, it stays once I defog, like, away. Or if I if I don't defog away. Um, hazards. I'm so glad I double-checked the calc. It has... It, it literally says that... Decidueye could have Fluffy. Maybe that's like an almost any ability thing or something, because sometimes the calc will, um, the only calc Inteleon pulls up is almost any ability, where it has Primordial C, and I'm always like, mm, not quite. Right, I'm just gonna go back out into Inteleon now. Uh, I'm just gonna click U-turn here, because if I get a chance to switch, it would be great. So... Uh, I'm not too worried about this thing nasty plotting up, considering there's only two turns left of terrain. And this is the last turn, so I have, uh... I actually don't have anything that outspeeds this. Just anyway. Huh, that's not good. <laughs> So, let me, if I go King Gambit here, I want to see what Sucker Punch looks like right now, and if it Terra's, because this is a Terra Captain for him.
Yeah, so even if um, Kitera ices here, King Gambit knocks him out with Sucker Punch. Guaranteed. I was I was a little nervous there. I thought that was gonna be a wrap. He should switch here, but I I can't afford to like try to predict and and yeah. I just have to hit this. That's fine. Goes guard shot. Is what it is. Gonna go Lando here. Dragon Tails me out into Tauros. That's actually not bad because then uh, we get an Intimidate off. I'm going to just go for the close combat. Hits really hard. And yeah, we know this is max. So Trailblaze has a very good chance to kill. And we know it's not Rindo Berry. I'm going to click it. Ooh, that is... 50. Oh, wow, that's on me. Okay. Okay, can't quite kill. We're gonna go Lando here on maybe like an Earth Power. Counter. Ooh. That's some tech. Alright, well, now you don't really have an Earth Power switch, and this is gonna. This is going to hurt. If I had, uh, investment. Okay, Pinkurchin goes down. So now I just have to get through this set of electric terrain. Uh, I'm going to let Lando go down here. I can't give this thing an opportunity to start nasty plotting again. I have, I can beat, um, Heatran still. Okay, he Terra's. Now, if I go Cleavor here, if it has Rising Voltage, it destroys me. So I'm just going to go King Gambit. Still going to Sucker Punch. Still no reason to, uh, to try to predict. Way too threatening. Okay, I want to Terra Flying and Low Kick this now, because... Well, let me... Yeah, I have a really good chance. Uh, it's not guaranteed, though, which, and I don't know if I want to let this go yet. <laughs> I'm going to go Cleavor. Ooh, huge Fire Blast miss. That makes up for the freeze, though. Because the freeze that, that he got previously was, was really huge. Okay. Um, neither Stone Axe... Well, okay, that's on this Kelk. Yeah, neither Stone Axe nor Close Combat Kill. Um, I want to get Rocks up, though, for the Raichu. So, Choice Scarf. Okay, so this is a Choice Scarfed Heatran. Got it. Uh, Fire Blast does next to nothing to me. Um, so, what does the most damage, though, just generally? Draco. Draco kills everything here. So, I'm going to click it. Please hit. Okay, awesome. Guard Chomp's down. Alright, this comes out, and it just, it takes a ton from a Draco as well. But I kind of want to keep this alive for Gastrodon, because otherwise I can't really beat Gastrodon, it's, since it's physically defensive. So I probably let Tauros go down here. He nasty plots. 
I'm gonna trailblaze in case, you know, say in case on the off chance I live. All right, back to this. I got a sucker punch. Okay, perfect. I almost clicked the other um, low kick, predicting Heatran, but I couldn't risk it. Man, all of these games come so close to the wire. It, I mean, they, they kind of have to. That's like King Gambit's whole thing. All right, we Terra and low kick here. Because if we Terra, it cannot kill us, I don't believe. Ooh, we Willow Wisps. Interesting. Well, yeah, this is Scarfed, so you're going to go this now. Hmm, okay. Alright, we're gonna switch out here to Dragalgi. Alright, my calc says Draco kills here. I think this is a wrap. I think. Because if he goes, if he lets us die, I can win with Sucker Punch. Oh, he's faster. This Gastron's got some speed, man, I think. Oh, man. Do I gotta just play for a crit at this point? I didn't think this was faster than me. I mean, I think it was faster than Gambit, which makes sense then, actually. Damn, dude. Fast Gastrodon fucking doing shit. GG's. Damn. I thought I had that until I didn't... I didn't realize the Gastrodon was faster. That really did it for him. I didn't didn't expect that at all. Wow. Alright, GG's to that one guy. Um, that means we are now 0-2 for the season, which is really, really rough. Uh, I guess I gotta step it up for the next battle, which it, week three has already started. This battle's coming a little bit late. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.